Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans, I'm your host Joe Zamora here, and we are just about to start our video again. Welcome all on Twitch, and thank you for those watching on YouTube, please leave a like, subscribe. If you're on Twitch, follow, ring the bell on both, so you always get the notifications of when I go live. Alright guys, here we go. Just in case you don't remember from what happened last time. We beat the gym, and talked to Bill. And we've been talking to Bill, and he sent us on a mission to go help out his friend. And while we were trying to help his friend, uh, we ended up having to help the guy at the game corner here on the two island. Apparently his daughter got lost on three islands, so we went over there and had to deal with some biker gang. And this is where we saved. So right after we saved the third island... We, uh, we are now having the honor of looking for the guy's daughter. Well, let's go ahead and make sure we got uh, healing items and whatnot. Before we start, because if we go out there and try to do all that crazy shit without healing items, we will be in a very tough spot. I know we got some proteins and stuff. Let's go ahead and give those to the Pokemon that need them. Also, let me know if the volumes of my voice isn't high enough for the music. If the music is fine, also let me know. And just drop a hi in the chat so I know who's here watching. Well, we're going to go ahead and give Clefable the special defense. We're going to give Charizard the special attack. We're going to give the iron also to Clefable because she's our wall. <clears throat> We're also going to give HP to probably her as well. Again, she's the bulky one, so we want to try to make sure she is as healthy as possible for the rest of the team. Carbos will probably give it to Nemo. He could probably use the speed. <coughs> and I would like to apologize, everybody, in advance. My allergies are acting up, so it is what it is at that point. But here we go. Um, let's go ahead and give Jazz some more pp and psychic uh not gonna waste a rare candy just yet but we're on the we're on the right track to finish this game today so we uh next time we stream uh, through the regions we are streaming uh emerald version i decided we're not gonna skip straight to hard gold so silver due to the format yeah i'll have to play it on uh I'll have to play it on the DS ROM. So instead of changing up the whole layout and everything, uh, might as well take on uh, Emerald first. Plus, that way it's closer to the original way I've done it on my personal own time. Because you can't trade from Fire Red to Heart Gold and then back down to Emerald. So I went ahead and took a detour there as well. But. So far, so good. Our team is where, about where we need it to be. Chicken Will, welcome to the stream, man. Our team is exactly where we want it to be. <clears throat> we have most of our Pokemon at around level 45. Uh, we want to try to get our team to level 50 before the next gym. Mostly Gyarados and... Gyarados, Clefable, and maybe Vileplume. Because it's going to come in handy having that. And we got a couple of Clefairies on the other side. Let's go ahead and teach them a lesson about being on the same battlefield as us. Ooh, living on one. So that means Clefairy here is going to live it. No! Stab bonus is key, apparently. <clears throat> but luckily, it just goes for a Moonlight. And uh, we'll be able to take it out this turn. But yeah, guys. Um, like I said last episode, we got a, we got three badges pretty much back to back. Other than the fire one. It took a while because we had to go through the mansion and everything. But we got all that done done pretty quick. So, lucky for us. Um, we are going to get to challenge, hopefully, the Elite Four in about an hour or so. So... Let's go ahead and strive for that goal. 
And if you're here watching on Twitch and you saw me scheduled for 7 o'clock, I know I'm a little early. But um, I run a draft league in PML. So uh, I have some things I got to do with that as well tonight. So I'm trying to... I was trying to stream a little bit earlier so I can get that done with everyone over there. Because they all live on the East Coast, so they're an hour behind me. So, just trying to get everything done in a timely manner and works for everybody. But at least y'all are here and it is going to be a good time. So, Jazz Hands is obviously our newest member, which is one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 1. I normally like to use a uh, Clefable. No, not Clefable, sorry, Clefairy. Uh, the middle evolution of this line now. And uh, I like to use it EV Light and Doubles. So that's where I, uh, I I use it mostly. But Clefable ain't a bad Pokemon either. It's been OU for such a long time. And here, of course, we needed a psychic type Pokemon. And here we got a psychic Pokemon that can deal with ghosts. So that's even better. No Shadow Balls to have to worry about. And we pretty much wall any ghost type. So Jazz Hands is basically going to take on Agatha by all, all by herself. Uh, so at least we're good on that front. But how are y'all day going, guys? How are y'all doing? Happy Tuesday. My new schedule will be Tuesday to Saturday. Uh, always from 7 to 10 unless I have something I got to do at the last minute. I'll have to switch it up to 6 or earlier. Hope, uh, earliest probably 5, but 7 is normally the goal I'm going to stick with. Uh, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Fridays are going to be the special day where we start a little bit later. Because uh, that's the day me and David are going to do our Soul Link every week. So last week we did it Wednesday. Because um, he was off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But I do believe uh, he got his schedule changed. So he'll be, he'll be joining us on Fridays nights now. And sometimes Saturdays depending on what time he can stream. But regardless, uh, Saturdays will be my day stream. I'll be streaming from 12 to 4. Unless I have something to do, then I'll probably stream at night. But the plan is to uh, stream during the day on Saturday to have an early stream. So typically people don't normally do much during the day on Saturday. But here we go. We have Mary Jane in front of a Krabby and we're going to Giga Drain there. But yeah, guys, um, we're going to finish it. Uh, we might finish Fire Red today, so that will be a good thing. And um, while we wait for me to finish doing the background for Emerald and stuff, um, I'm going to continue the Pokemon Conquest streams uh, starting tomorrow. Probably all the way through Saturday. And then start Emerald next week. Because um, it's about the same length as this game. So it'll probably be about three to four streams. Depending on how long it... Uh, how long it takes again i'm i'm sorry about most of the quick battles getting uh what do you call it speed boosted but you know no one wants to see grinding but since this is most likely the last episode i'm going to try very my best not to s speed through anything here but yeah guys i can't believe it already seven badges uh, i think we've only lost two pokemon and we fought it off of Meowth to, to heal up our other Pokemon. So we've been doing pretty good this, this, uh, this, what you call it, this Nuzlocke. There you go. I can't, I can't think. But as you can see, Jazz Hands is tearing away through these people's teams. And now that it's level 47, it's for sure the highest level we got. We're going to start leveling up the other people as well. So, for the for the Emerald stream, I'm o I'm obviously getting a Charmander, but I'm also getting to choose a starter. So, I get like an extra Pokémon in that game <coughs> due to Charizard being my partner Pokémon. 
<laughs> Christian wishes he only lost two Pokemon in Nuzlocke. Hey, it's uh, it's part of uh, getting better. Because when I first started doing Nuzlocke, I was horrible. I would lose before the second gym. But uh, slowly but surely, you practice. You try to get the best Pokemon you can. I mean, obviously, it's not completely in your control. But if you, if you kind of know the game's layout, you can uh, you can definitely try and get Pokemon that are gonna be in your favor, depending on what route you catch them on. So like uh, like I did here, I didn't go straight for Mankey as soon as I had Pokeballs. I obviously caught my uh, Route One encounter as fast as I could because I know only Pidgey and Rattata are on Route One. Then I went up to Route 2, knowing there's only Pidgey, Rattata, and maybe a bug type. Oh, wait, no, I didn't I didn't do that one first. Knowing there could have been a bug type, I went to the forest first to get me my bug type Pokemon. So, I luckily caught the bug Pokemon, then I caught the Pidgey. So, whenever I went over to the Mankey area, or Nidoran... Because over there, it's only Mankey, Nidoran, Rattata, Pidgey, and maybe Spearow. But I think Spearow is like a rare encounter over there. So you got to get lucky to catch one over there. If you, that's what you want anyway. But that's not what I wanted. So luckily, we got the Mankey. And we took down Brock, no problem. So how far have you gotten in your uh, Nuzlocke chicken wheel? As you can see, <coughs> I'm here about to save the little girl from the Hypno, which is a very creepy story as well. So if you don't remember, or if you don't know, uh, Hypno is like the predator Pokemon, really, because uh, it hypnotizes, uh, there's that creepy thing about it hypnotizes children and kidnaps them. I've just been grinding levels, and I'm about to battle the fourth gym leader. That's awesome, man. What game are you playing? I forgot which one you were actually playing. Four deaths. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, there, depending on what game you're playing, there's plenty of Pokemon to catch in those areas. But, um, yeah, Hypno has that creepy lore about... Oh, excuse me. About luring kids into a cave and murdering. It's it's really wild. Uh, just look it up on Google. Uh, uh, YouTube. There's creepypasta about it. It's literally hypno creepypasta. And you'll see it there. But it's wild. It's like. That's that's creepy. Obviously it's not canon. Um, the closest. Uh, the closest Pokemon got to doing anything like that. Was uh, in that one episode where. They had like a hypnotist club where they're like all insomniacs and they used a hypno to put themselves to sleep so they can actually get rest. And the uh, the hypnotic waves accidentally went too far and were hypnotizing children to go to a part of the forest and pretend they're Pokemon. So that that's as crazy as that's gotten in the game. Oh, Black and White 2 is one of my favorite games to, to play over and over again. Because not only did they uh, did they reintroduce a lot of Pokemon, they also um, they also added a bunch of new Pokemon. Well, I guess that's reintroduced, right? Um, but they actually added a bunch of new areas is what I'm trying to say. And they made it a lot easier to catch more Pokemon. And just the pure... Uh, numbers of Pokemon that there are. It's awesome. And here is Lostel. Whimper, sniff. Oh, please help. A scary Pokemon appeared a little, there a little while ago. It keeps scaring. It made Lostel scared. Why is she talking to the third person? I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. Where? Well, I want my daddy. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what this is. Oh yeah, po the, the post game is what made it to be one of my favorite games. Because <clears throat> you can go get Heat Ran. Uh, a lot of the special Pokemon you couldn't normally get. 
um, just the story of it, all the seven sages that you can go find. I, I don't think I've ever completed all of the backstory either. And then on top of that, they have um, they have the the Pokemon tournament where you can battle past gym leaders and all that stuff. And they're using brand new Pokemon, so that makes it pretty awesome too. But this Hypno is going to go down. <clears throat> Oh, Hypno without a Psychic move? And this is a Static Encounter, so I can go ahead and catch this. Might as well. I mean, we already have... We don't have a Hypno, so let's go ahead and catch it. I know I kind of screwed my encounter here, too. Because I just kind of ran from him all, so... I lose that encounter, but at least we get an encounter here. <clears throat> but it's not gonna happen due to it not wanting to be my friend it goes down to toxic and at least we saved the little girl so we're gonna go ahead and bring her back to her dad we get an i papa berry papa i, I think that's what they're trying to go for but we rescued um the little girl brought her back to her dad and then we can leave psych most people forget this but you actually have to talk to him again and give him the rock so you can actually complete the story over here and leave because um i never uh i forgot that part uh when i replayed this game one time and i was just like what the hell am i missing what am i supposed to do I'm like i'm doing everything i can and i just can't seem to finish this thing i fit i saved the little girl and everything and nothing <clears throat> and I got to the point where I just got so fed up with it. I was like, you know what? I'm resetting the game. I wasn't doing a speed run or anything. Uh, I was just playing through the game. But <laughs> and then uh, I replayed it again. And then uh, I actually talked to him that time. And he took the meteorite. And even then, I was like, what did I do that's different? But I guess uh, after another time playing it, I realized, yeah, you got to talk to the guy. Or... Um, you're never going to get off these islands. But now that we saved his daughter, we gave him the meteorite. Um, we complete that little side story. And the tripass is given to us. So we can return there at any time we want. But we're not trying to do that here. We're trying to beat these Pokemon. So let's go ahead and fly back to Viridian City. Heal up our Pokemon and challenge the gym there. But let's go ahead and get Gyarados up some levels. And Tigbitties is fine. Mary Jane's there. Let's go ahead and try to get this done here. So let's see what the old man has to say because before he said it was locked. Viridian said in gym, uh, Viridian gym's leader returned. All right, so that's exciting. So we're going to spin. We're going to do all the battles because that's what we want here. And Chicken Will, if you don't mind, can you check out uh, what levels this gym leader has? I don't need to know the Pokemon. I just, know, I just need to know the highest level. Intimidates on the Arbok is beautiful. But it gets intimidated back with our box intimidate. But luckily we got special moves as well. So for our box, use acid, which is a physical move in this game. So we're not too worried about it. Ooh, a second surf almost takes it out, but looks like it's gonna take three. Only if we could have got that crit. All right, at least we took down that Arbok. Let's go ahead and see what else this thing has. All right, that's another Intimidate Pokemon. So let's go ahead and try to go to... Let's go to Mary Jane. 
Highest level is 50? Alright. Well, depending on how high a level we can get our Pokemon here, we're going to have to grind up a little bit. I don't want to be more than two levels below. Oh, that Tauros is dumb. It went for rest. And we do about half. And due to it going for scary face, this should take it out. Oh, it lives on one. Low roll. Just go ahead and go for the acid. Don't go for rest. All right, beautiful. We take no damage there. And down goes the Tauros. But thank you again, Chicken Will, for checking that for me. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next battle. All right. He looks like he has fighting types. Let's go ahead and put Mary Jane up front. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. I have some people who would disagree with that. All right. So Machoke versus a grass poison plant. Let's just go ahead and go for a nice acid. Sadly, uh, she gets no good poison moves unless we have uh, TMs for it. And I don't know where to get the TM for Sludge Bomb. I wish uh, that would have been the TM we got for beating Koga, but he just gives us Toxic. So let's go ahead and take down this Machoke almost. Well, luckily for us, one more does it. And he's not doing much to us. Oh, except for that revenge. That's because we hit him first. Alright, Mary Jane. Way to take out that Pokemon. And I think there's a lot of ground Pokemon coming up as well. So I'm just going to leave her up front. Because she is pretty low level. So might as well get her some uh, level ups. Oh, yeah, Sand Slash. All right, Mary Jane, Giga Drain, everything. Until you run out of PP, and then I'll switch in Gyarados. Well, while we have everyone here, what's everyone's favorite Pokemon? Of course, as you know, mine is... Oh, look, it actually learned to move. Hold on. Oh, Sylveon. That's interesting, Chicken Will. What makes uh, Sylveon your favorite Pokemon? Um, I think I'm going to get rid of Sleep Powder. For Petal Dance. We're not really trying to catch Pokemon anymore. And Toxic is more damage. <laughs> it's just so cute. Hey, can't knock it there. It is a very cute Pokemon. All right, so we get rid of Sleep Powder and we learn Petal Dance. Graveler's coming in. We'll stay in. And of course, as everyone knows, my favorite Pokemon is Charizard, which will be on uh, every layout in some way, shape, or form. So maybe it's going to be a little small and hidden, or maybe it's just going to be out there. Who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, Petal Dance, really. I think he's going to have all ground type Pokemon. So basically with this move, um, it does a lot of damage, but we're kind of locked in to use it if we stay in. I didn't know we can switch out. But here we go. Onyx is going to go down to a Petal Dance. Very powerful move, but it does cause confusion once it's done using it. So we might have to go find ourselves some Lumberries before we take on the Elite Four. Alright, Graveler is here. I think he explosions. So I'm just going to click Pedal Dance again. Because at least if we were to hit ourselves in Confusion, we could take it. 
Also, guys, if the music is a little loud for the background music, just let me know and I'll go ahead and switch that up real quick. Or lower it, I should say. Alright, Mary Jane is confused, but Pedal Dance comes off again. Excuse me for the burp. But Mary Jane goes ahead and takes that thing down. No problem. Lickety split. Alright, so all of our team is pretty low on levels compared to the gym leader. Let's go ahead and deal with this Machop. Uh, let's just go ahead and go for the secret power. <coughs> and then after we beat everyone in this gym, I think we'll go ahead and do a little grind session before the gym leader. So we didn't get too low level. And here in a second, I'll go ahead and check out uh, which levels uh, the Elite Four are as well. Because we might need a grinding session for that too. So, Nemo takes down Machoke, no problem. Took two hits on each, but we're using special moves. Well, the first one was physical moves, but I don't know. Nemo's trying to learn Rain Dance, but we ain't trying to do that right now. Now let's go ahead and check out what this guy has here. Alright, so simply a Rhyhorn. Nemo, I think, got this. No problem. Uh, surf should Oko it. Yep, I'd be surprised if anything else were to happen there. <laughs> so Nemo is finally at level 45. Let's go ahead and move everyone else this way. And let's see what this guy has. All right, so Marowak comes in, and we lower its attack. We can just go for the Hydro Pump here. And we hit it. That's a dead Marowak. Hopefully no Cubones are around to witness this. All right, we got a Rhyhorn coming in. <coughs> Let's just go all out Hydro Pumps. Why not? Critical hit, too. That thing was not living for anything. Alright, sorry guys if the frame rates are a little low. I don't know why they are. But let's see if it comes back. Well, for those watching on YouTube, uh, Twitch went out for a second. I don't know what happened there. The frame rates are down. My internet and everything still looks fine, though, so... I don't know what happened. Alright, looks like we reconnected. Just waiting for the live to come back on. Alright, I think we're back. <clears throat> there we go. Alright guys, sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened there. But it looks like we're back on. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the stream here. And let's go ahead and take down this Marowak. Alright, so now even Twitch says it's back to stable. I don't know what happened there, guys, but 
you know, is what it is. Let's go ahead and continue beating down this guy's team. Uh, let's go for Hydro Pump. Oh, missed. So we get bit. That's fine. Another Hydro Pump. Alright, so we got the crit. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Mary Jane real quick. <clears throat> Alright, last Pokemon we gotta deal with. Let's go ahead and go for the pedal dance. Alright. Well, here we go. Uh, it takes one pedal dance, but we do get paralyzed. Or oh, was it two? Oh, yeah, it must have been two. <clears throat> His trainer is going to use a Hyper Potion, but we're just going to go out for the all-out attack here. Oh, and we hit ourselves. So, unlucky for us, we're going to go ahead and switch back out. And go to Nemo. So we do got to take another body slam, but at least the Intimidate is off. Now let's go ahead and go for the Hydro Pump. And we missed that too. So it looks like the Nido Queen is giving us kind of a hard time here. Ooh, and another Paralysis. Let's just go for the Surf. As it continues to body slam us. Welcome back all viewers. Again, sorry for the interruption in the stream. I don't know what happened, but... Uh, we're back and everything's going good so far, so let's keep it that way. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and use up this max potion because we need more than a super heal right now. Alright, surf's up. Finally, the Needle Queen goes down after... A lot of work with two Pokemon, but we're there. Now we're going to go ahead and heal up our Pokemon as well. Because we got two paralyzed Pokemon. Don't want to be fighting with that. All right, let's go ahead and come this way. And we'll leave Lim uh, Limo. We'll leave Nemo up there. Go ahead and get some hydro pumps off. And down goes the Machoke. Machop is going to come in. We're going to go ahead and just go for another hydro pump. Alright, so Nemo is up to level 46, which is great. Less training for him. And let's just go for secret power here. See how much this does. You're a physical monster. What are you doing? You should be Oko in these things. It's okay, though. One more, take it out. Alright, now let's go ahead and wrap our heads around over here to come this way. We'll go ahead and take this guy on here. And let's go ahead and go for the hydro pump. Sand Slash goes down without a problem. 
<clears throat> Rhyhorn takes the surf. And let's see what else we got. Another Sand Slash. Sand Slash is a pretty cool Pokemon. I like its original design. It's pretty interesting. It's awesome because it's the Hedgehog, so I normally nickname it Sonic. But um, I think the Alolan redesigns are much better. The typing is cool. Uh, Steel and Ice. Um, I think just Ice would have been fine. But I can understand why it'd be uh, steel and ice. Plus, that slush rush ability makes it all that much better. Alright, so Nidorino is going to be able to take another hit here. But honestly, at all, out of all the uh, Lowland forms, I think Muck is my favorite. It's a dark psychic type. Incredibly specially defensive. The only weakness it has is ground. And you could check that real easy. Um, and this is a great Pokemon all around. <coughs> so what's with the catch, Chicken Wheel? You feeling pretty? I know, that's a bad joke. Now, Needle King is one I wish got an, uh, a variant from another region. <clears throat> I mean, I know it's overdoing it, but he could have been like another Dark Poison. Would have been a lot better than Ground. I mean, no, more, most people use him as a special attacker anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. I, I'm, I'm all down for it. But now that we uh, defeated all the gym trainers, we're going to go ahead and do some, what do you call it? Just some regular training. Let's go ahead and get Loxes up here. <coughs> and I know you can battle Gary after the gym, but let's see if we can battle him before. Just try to get some extra EXP. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Now, I'm not training against a level 5 Pokemon. Now, let's go ahead and go into the uh, Elite Four. As far as we can. Ooh, Berry. Lepaberry. And again, Victory Road is also uh, another place you can get a Pokemon. But I'm not going to focus on that. I'm mostly going to train here. <coughs> I believe it's the highest level Pokemon you can train against. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little grind session here. If anyone has any Q&As they want to ask or anything, go for it. take on all these Pokemon while we wait oh man there we go oh, I wasn't trying to run and we're just gonna try to get everyone to level 48 oh it lived it If there's a better place to train as well, let me know, guys. Ooh, especially defensive. All right, well, uh, we're at level 45. We can't get past here, huh? Nope. All right, well, let's get Jazz Hands to 48. It's already almost there. It's 
So what do you guys think about the Through the Regions playthrough? Are y'all enjoying it? I hope so. Because I'm going to go through every region. I think my favorite region to go through is going to be Gen 5. Only because um, the first time around. So black and white. It's going to be more fun to go play through. Alright, I'm going to switch here. Go to Natsu. Because we don't want Jazz Hands going down to a primate. Alright, so time for Natsu to take its place. Well, yeah, the first time going through black and white is going to be fun. Uh, basically, you're going to be the only Pokemon with uh, a, a Charizard. Because they don't allow other Pokemon until after game. And then, um... It's, I don't know. I just like the layout. I don't really care for the graphics, but I love the layout of that game. Pretty fun. And then the story, of course, to go along with it never hurts. Ooh, that's scary. These Spheros really like to live the hit. Yeah, the progression is always satisfying to see. I mean, we're almost through this one. So, I think a game a week, I mean, that's not bad. The only reason I didn't finish it last week was because uh, was because of the what? Because I didn't stream Friday because I wasn't feeling well. And then uh, Thursday night, we played this. We got our way to the 7th gym. So really, we could have finished by Friday. So that was my fault for not getting it done, but chain of scenery is always nice. You're right. So let's go ahead and go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up. And let's go ahead and go back. Let's go to a place where we can actually train, though. Let's go to a place we haven't been. I think we'll do fine over here. So y'all can check out the electric Pokemon this game has to offer. Oh, and it's another battle. I should probably actually just battle uh, trainers, huh? Go ahead and go to Mary Jane. I don't want to get hit by a rock blast. Two pedal dances takes care of that. See, yeah, I think I'm going to just battle trainers in a minute. But I do want to get some items in here and potentially another Pokemon just in case. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we already have a Voltorb, so that's not a catchable Pokemon. Get away from me, you're not catchable. Alright, so we see a Magnemite. Let's go for the Slash. And it lives it. Now time for the Ultra Ball. We caught it. And uh, we're going to nickname it Static. That's it. There we go. Uh, let's see. There's a few items in here, and some of them aren't items. Like this. So we got to destroy those. Um, do we have repels? There we go. 12 super repels. So now we're good to free. We're free to move about the cabin. And I believe this is Thunder. So that's better for our Jolteon. Well, not better, but we have a better Electro type attack. So yeah, better. And then we find a Thunderstone. For the Pikachu, we could have caught in here. And of course, Electrode. Destroyed. I don't mind fighting those because those are a little bit higher level. All 
All right, repel wore off, so let's go ahead and put another one. And, of course, there's Zapdos in here. Uh, I'm going to leave that thing alone because I'm not trying to mess with legendaries right now. I mean, I'm not really going to play post game, so I could catch a Zapdos and put it on my team. But who wants to see a Zapdos just wreck through the Elite Four? Jolteon's been with us for so long. Might as well leave it on the team. I mean, if y'all want, I'll just catch it for fun. Uh, we're not really going to play any post game. Let's go ahead and bring it back this way. At least see it. I think Articuno is the worst legendary bird, and it has the hardest puzzle to get to. You know what? Let's catch it for fun. Zapdos is my favorite legendary bird. I mean, just look at it. Ever since I was a kid, it's just like, what? why don't you want the big old sharp bird that shoots electricity from its wings? So we'll Master Ball it. I mean, it's already level 50. So I guess y'all can vote to put Zapdos in instead of a Jolteon. We're going to name you... What do we name a Zapdos? I'm stuck. What do I nickname this thing? Let's nickname it. Zeus, there you go. That makes perfect sense. All right, Zeus. That is your nickname now. What do you think, Will? Should we put this on the team instead of Jolteon? We'll lose a member of Fairy Tale. But. Oh, Spider, welcome. Yes, sir. All right. Looks like Zapdos is going to be on the team. We got one for Zapdos. What are you saying, Chicken Will? Certainly more powerful and one less Pokemon we got to actually train up. <laughs> Why not? All right. Come on, Zapdos. I mean, Jolteon. You're off the team. You're benched. A team is here. Now let's go ahead and move these guys where they're supposed to be because we didn't lose that many Pokemon. Sai, yai, yai. Oh, it's definitely going to wreck Lorelei. That's for sure. And all these Pokemon as well. <laughs> David. David's here. Uh, Ponyta and Magnemite, our newest capture, other than Zapdos. But let's be honest, Magnemite, you weren't worth switching in for Jolteon all right guys now we got a little bit of grinding to do uh, still let's go ahead and bring you let's bring you over here and I think uh, these trainers would be the the best poke Pokemon trainers to battle against so let's go ahead come this way and I always like to you know what? Actually, yeah, let's battle here. Why not? I always battle over there where the bike path is as well. Because there's six bikers there. 
So I'm just going to flamethrower these things to death until we get level 48. But how's everyone nights going? How y'all doing? Welcome to the stream. And I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves because this is the last fire red stream we're doing. I believe one more. This is, well, I know this is the last episode for fire red. Then the rest of the week I'll be streaming some Pokemon Conquest again. Get back on that. Try to 100% that game still. And then... Uh, start of Tuesday next week, we'll be back on the Through the Regions playthrough. And we will be able to challenge Emerald. The reason... Yeah, I got the HM for Fly. Thank you for the follow. Armani2k23 is now following. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you for the support. But yeah, I got I got the TM for I got the HM for Fly. I have it on Charizard here. He was our only flying Pokemon. Plus, uh, it's always useful to have a flying stab on him. I had wing attack, but not as strong. I think it's 60. So 80 is nice. I mean, 70 is nice. I just hate the chance of missing. All right, we're out of HP for that, but we still take down these things no problem. So Charizard's level 48. Yeah, uh, your team is only level 30. <clears throat> uh, how far in are in the game are you? Uh, yeah, I do plan on changing Zeus's move set. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and teach it Thunder and whatnot. I'll have to go ahead and look it over real quick. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm almost at the end of the game, Armani. Uh, I, I, have seven, I have seven badges. I'm just here uh, training because uh, I'm not trying to uh, lose to the uh, eighth gym leader. His highest levels are four, are 50, so I just want to be at a little bit underneath. I don't want to be too overpowered for that battle either. But yeah, here in a minute, after I get everyone to the levels they need to be chicken well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, teach Zeus some moves as well. Heck yeah, everyone wants to battle. All right, got you. And this is also a great way to make money. If you just put the amulet coin on your Pokemon and you're just ripping through their teams with, you'll get there no problem. You'll get money like you won't believe. And uh, that's how um, I also bought uh, certain moves in the... What do you call it? In the casino. I just, instead of playing the game, I would just uh, buy the, the thing with the money. All the coins with the money. And just get it that way. Uh, luckily, I had about forty Pokemon already when I when I got to that point. All right, Mary Jane, it's your turn. And easy money. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. Um, let me. <clears throat> All right, well, just let me know what you need to know, and I'll help you out, man. I pretty much know everything about Gen One. Uh, I've played it multiple, multiple times. Uh, if you need extra moonstones, you can. Uh, you can actually get two in the. In Mount Moon, and then you get another one later in the game at the Rocket Hideout. So, I've used two of them already. So, that's one useful note. 
Got you, man. Well, good luck with the Alakazam grind. And I was looking for my amulet coin. I could have swore I had it somewhere over here. But if not, let me go ahead and talk to him. He should be up here. Heck yeah, I got 51 Pokemon. Or kinds of Pokemon. So I got my amulet coin now. Uh, let's see. Amulet coin should be all the way at the bottom. You need a fighting stone or a fire stone? Because you can get the fire stone at the, at the Celadon Mall. And actually, I think uh, I'm going to take a quick detour to Fuchsia City. No, it's not Fuchsia, is it? Yeah, it is. <clears throat> um, there is no fighting stone from what I know of. I know they have leaf, water, fire, uh, electric, water. But I don't believe there's a fighting stone. Alright, so we went ahead and got the EXP share. <clears throat> I mean, unless you're playing a modded version of uh, Fire Red Leaf Green, I wouldn't know what you're talking about. I mean, if you were, because I don't need any, I've never heard of a Fighting Stone. Alright, so now we can level up two Pokemon at once. All right, where need to be. Oh, you have to trade evolve Machoke. There, you, there's no fighting stone for it. Um, I'm currently on an emulator, so I can't, uh, I can't trade. That's why I was trying to avoid any uh, trade evolution Pokemon. Well, as far as I know, you can't trade. Uh, you have the link cable trade. So unless you know someone near you on Fire Red. Oh, yeah, that's an emulator. Um, I think there's a, there's a cheat you can find to actually evolve your Pokemon on the emulator that are trade po possibility, but, um, you'd have to look that up on Google. I'm just going to miss every move, huh? Jesus, that was a more annoying battle than it needed to be. You got union for free. Yeah, like I said, there's a there's an option in the game where you can put cheat codes in for like Game Shark, and uh, if you can find the code, you'd be able to uh, evolve it no problem. But other than that, I I couldn't help you. All right, Mary Jane is tearing through this thing. Alrighty, enjoy the grind. All right, Machop. Okay, two more levels with Mary Jane, and we are where we need to be. I'm going to go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center. And then we'll go ahead and battle these guys again. I'm sure we're getting a lot of money from it, too. So I'm going to go ahead and see what moves we can actually get from the TM shop as well. Everyone's up for a battle. That's what I like to see. Alright, take down these. Come on, hit it. Hit the acid. Jesus Christ. Mary Jane, you're becoming an issue. <laughs> hit your moves. I don't care how many 
smoke screens you see. All right, pedal dance, pedal dance, pedal dance again. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Oh, I'm going to burn through all these super potions, but that's fine. We're getting money anyway. All right, acid takes that thing down. No problem. And it looks like a uh, needle queen got to level up from that too. Yeah, the the grass gym is hardly no problem, especially if you have like a fire type or something on your team, or even a psychic type like Kadabra, because poison. Uh, most of grass types in this generation are poison, except for Tangela. So pretty much all of them are poison, except for Tangela. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's even better. All right, let's see another wheezing. Let's go ahead and pedal blizzard it to death. And coughing comes in, and we take that out, no problem. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch out here to Tig Bitties. Uh, one more secret power. Take it out if you can hit it. All right, pedal dance. Pedal dance again, and we're almost there. Last two Pokemon that need to be level 48, and we're almost there. Slowly but surely, we are going to get there. And um, I don't think we need to grind again after Giovanni. I think we get most of our levels in the cave. So we'll just see about that. All right, there we go. Weezings are helping us get to where we need to be. All right, luckily we're getting good with this confusion. And the Weezings are going down in two to three hits. Well, that one went down in three. All right, let's go ahead and go for a Giga Drain. We need the health back. Giga Drain again. Yeah, so now this time we don't have to go to the Pokemon Center. We'll just go back and forth until they're ready to battle again. Versus Seeker. All right, here we go. Yeah, grinding Pokemon in this game can be tough, but as long as you got speed up, it's not as bad. Coffin goes down. Tig Biddies is 46. Mary Jane's 47. So far, so good. All right, Tig Biddies. I didn't want to uh, risk missing on that one. But, oof, pedal dance, come on. All right, Super Potion. And we get that one off. Beautiful. Less and less of these guys want to battle now. So that's one negative. But we should be able to take get there after maybe two more. Two more fights with all of them. Give me all your fights. Give me all your fights. Ah, five. That's yeah, better than three. And now we can just start aciding Pokemon instead of wasting pedal blizzard all right die to the pedal blizzard there we go whoo that almost took us out let's go ahead and heal up real quick let's go guys get the grind going like i said guys if y'all got questions go ahead and ask them Ask away. We still got about maybe five more minutes of grinding. Hopefully. <laughs> well, Weezing almost goes down in one hit of the pedal dance. But then we confuse ourselves. Oh my gosh. You know what? Switch. We're missing everything. Too many smoke screens. Ah, uh, more. More? At least Tig Biddies can handle these much better. So Tig Biddies gets to level 47. Have you pre-ordered the new games yet? I know Chris was able to put in a deposit at GameStop. Um, 
like the new new games no uh i got pokemon snap thanks to steve uh sacred silence but um i'm gonna go try and get those at the end of the week hopefully get those pre-ordered and situated so i can grab them as soon as they come out i am gonna pre-order one online though so it might be like a third copy but so i can stream at midnight that's what i plan on doing come on pedal dance there we go fight these two again screw you and your smoke screens all right so one more wheezing to deal with and that goes down no problem mary jane is at level 48 beautiful last pokemon and luckily we're using the the exp share so now it is at about the same level you know what? I think we can actually get Sludge Bomb from the casino. Um, Will, if you want to go ahead and check that out for me. See what TMs are available at the casino. You know, that's actually real smart. Uh, get the Diamond and the Legends right away and then get Pearl on Black Friday. That'd probably be the best idea, too. That's not bad at all. I might do that as well. I do like to buy both games if they have the bundle pack, though. So I guess it just depends on that, too. Because you get better pre-order stuff with it. Secret power. Secret power. Oh, man. Hey, Bite does the dang job, too. Oh, it is special, so why wouldn't I... Why did I think of that? I could have been hitting on the special side this whole time. That's not going to work there. Super power. Super power. I went full Goku on that one. Um, I might get two Sludge Bombs, too, because... You never know. <clears throat> Hyper Beam, Dragon Rage, and Substitute. I know you can get other ones too. Because uh, there's two boosts that sell TMs. I know one's like that. And then the other one has the actual good moves. Because <clears throat> they have uh, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. And then they have a few other ones that I would never get. Because why would you need anything else other than... Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. Oh, shoot. It's already level 48. What am I doing? Go ahead and come around here. <clears throat> Let's go get items first before we waste all our money. Alright, you. I need to buy... Alright, I need to go somewhere else. And then we can come back here to the casino. All right, Pokemart, we need, oh shit, we can get 99, but all we need is about 20. And then do we have full restores? No. So let's go ahead and get about nine full heals. You know what? Let's get 10 more. And then once we get... Did I buy them? Yeah, I did. Okay. And then once we get to... Where is it? The Elite Four actual spot. We can buy full restores. And buy like 10 of those just in case. Okay, so there's Ice Beam, Iron Tail, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and Flamethrower. Well, we can certainly use a few of those moves. 
All right, we got, I think, 8,000 coins. Let's go ahead and buy, you know what? Let's see what we got so far. I know we got some good TMs in here that we haven't used. Let's go ahead and see who can learn Calm Mind, Jazz Hands. We already have uh, the other move on it. Uh, cosmic Power, which boosts its defense and special defense. So we're good there. Um, let's see, Blizzard, that could be a useful move for us. Let's go ahead and see what Jazz Hands has. Honestly, I don't think we need Sing, so let's go ahead and give it Blizzard. Because that could come in handy against a, what do you call it? Alright, we're going to teach Zeus Thunder. It'll come in handy against a Dragonite, for sure. Fire Blast. Let's go ahead and give it to... Tigbitties. What can you trade this out for? <clears throat> we'll go ahead and give you Fire Blast for Bite. Is that a good idea? Hold on, we'll hold off on that. Yeah. We certainly got to give you Earthquake. Oh, wait. I haven't got Earthquake yet. Um, let's go ahead and Fire Blast. Uh, Natsu, what can you trade it out with? Because you never know when you need that little bit of extra power. I do like having Dig, though. But I'm going to I'm gonna give Earthquake to Nido Queen. So let's just go ahead and give you Fire Blast for Dig. Yeah, uh, the AIs love to do a smoke screen, minimize all those crazy inaccuracy moves. And if you ain't got nothing to hit it with, you are screwed. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and get Thunderbolt. Should be 24. Yep. And let's go ahead and get... I don't need Flamethrower. Let's go ahead and get Ice Beam. So TM case. Ice Beam. Give it to Nemo. Because I think Ice is physical in this game. I could be wrong. But it's better than Dragon Rage. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's use Thunderbolt for Zeus. Because Thunder's nice, but it misses. So let's go ahead and switch it out for Agility. And then, let's go ahead and put double team on somebody. Uh, Tig Biddies, do you need... No, I don't think Tig Biddies is going to make good use of uh, double team. I don't think anyone will, really. Not better than the moves we already have. But congratulations on getting your cadaver to level 30. But I think we did all we can do here. Let's go ahead and finally take on the gym. Let's go. All right. This is a scary team, guys. Some of the best Gen 1 Pokemon all on one team with a legendary to back us up. Let's get some hype in the chat and get ready to battle this gym leader this is the eighth gym badge this is for all the marbles this is for all the glory can we do it 
Yes, we can. All right, Giovanni. It is time. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. Let's go. Let's get it. Leader Giovanni would like to battle. Leader Giovanni sent out to Rhyhorn. Let's go, Nemo. Flap them little fins and kill this thing. We get the Intimidate off and we get our Surf going. And Rhyhorn goes down. Down it goes. Nemo gains Buku EXP. But here comes Rhyhorn. Here comes Daddy Rhino. Oh, I'm definitely not going to have no bad time here, Armani. Oh, wait. No, it's another Rhyhorn. My bad. I was thinking right on. But we'll go ahead and kill it with another Surf. If he doesn't have a ride on... That's going to be very embarrassing for being the greatest trainer in the region. All right, we got a Doug Trio here. And I think Nemo is going to just destroy this thing. Level 42? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just walk up in there and be like, hey, Giovanni, you ready to lose? You ready to be destroyed? Yeah, he's going to be that Spongebob meme. I'm the greatest trainer. Oh, no. It looks like our stream is buffering again. All right. Hold on. Before we continue. Sorry for those on YouTube. I don't see what happened there, but we're back. Sorry about that brief intermission, guys. Or brief interruption, I should say. Wasn't planning on it to be an intermission. But we're back. I have not killed anything else. So let's go ahead and hydro pump the Nido Queen. Oh, and we miss. Body slam comes off. And we take that no problem, but we do get paralyzed. Let's go ahead and go for another hydro pump. Body slam comes off again. And we finally hit the hydro pump. Is it enough? No, it is not. Nido Queen somehow lives it. I should have took the advantage of knowing he would heal, but I actually just went for, um, I actually just went for Surf, so he's probably just going to attack again. I'm just going to go ahead and heal up. What are the chances he gets another Paralyze? Giovanni's so cap, he, has a, he, he owns a lid store. All right, so he decides to heal again, so that's better for us. Let's go ahead and go for this Hydro Pump. Hopefully this time we have enough juice to take it out, and we do. All right, Needle King is here. I like that they do give him a Needle King, though. Nemo said, don't pull me out, coach. I got this. Needle King comes in. We're going for the Hydro Pump. And Nemo misses. Needle King comes off with the thrash and does a decent amount of damage. But Nemo, with his last attempt of a hydro pump, gets it off. Will it be enough? It is. Needle King goes down to the hydro pump. And Nemo is victorious. It has swept his whole team. And Giovanni has been defeated. Ha! That was truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Well, guys, that's all it took. Oh, and we get a lot of money for beating them, too. Hype in the chat! Whoop, whoop! The Earth Badge is ours, and we finally get one of the best TMs in the game. TM26. Let's go ahead and slap that Earthquake onto our Needle Queen right now. Fuck yeah, guys. We did it. We completed all eight gym badges. 
Now there's only one thing left for us to do here. Beat the Elite Four. Oh wait, no, not you. Yeah, stop trying to learn Earthquake, Nemo. You're a water type. What do you think you are, a Mega? Here we go, take biddies, all for you. Get rid of that embarrassing ground type move and you are gonna be the most powerful person ever. The Joey Llama, thank you for hosting my stream with your viewers. Hype in the chat, man. Hype in the chat. Thank you for the support. And also, we are on our way to the Elite Four now. Let's go ahead. We just beat Giovanni. We have a legendary on our team because I said, why not catch it? And then people were like, why not slap it on your team? So, guys, as of right now, as of our eight gyms, we have Gyarados, nicknamed Nemo. We have Tigbitties, our Nido Queen. We have Jazz Hands, our Clefairy. We have Zeus, our Zapdos. Wolfnizer is now hosting my stream as well. Thank you very much. And thank you for showing the support. Second to last, we got a Jolly Nature Vile Plume, nicknamed Mary Jane. Alrighty, Armani, no problem. Get that six gym badge, man. And then lastly but not leastly, we have our starter and the sole purpose of this playthrough. Not to the Charizard. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and heal up real quick and then make our way to the E4. And everyone knows we have one more thing to do. We have to get interrupted on our way to the Elite Four, and you'll never guess by who. So instead of spoiling the surprise, let's go ahead and see who it is. It's Gary, of course. What, Joe? What a surprise to see you here. You're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all badges, too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Joe, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! So now he's going to try to embarrass us. Put us down after we just got our 8th gym badge. You know what? It, it ain't going to fly. Just like your Pidgeot. I'm about to clip its wings, son. So let's go ahead and, you know what? Let's ice beam it. Let's see this beautiful animation. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, is it dead? No, it's not. Oh, but it's frozen. It's frozen. First time we use ice beam and we get the freeze. That's beautiful. I, I love it already. Let's go ahead and get the secret power going. Didn't quite knock it out, but I am sure he's going to heal here. So let's go for the hydro pump. Oh, he didn't heal. All right, so Pidgeot goes down without a fight. Don't mess with the fridge or you're going to get frozen. I know, that was pathetic. All right, Nemo gets to level 49 and Rhyhorn comes out here. We're going to go ahead and stay in. What's with you people not having Rhydons? Y'all are some of the strongest Pokemon trainers. But yet, y'all ain't got Rhydons? Y'all ain't got fully evolved Pokemon? Get your ass out of here with that bullshit. And a Growlithe too. Interesting. Let's go ahead and show him what a real fire type is. Alright, Natsu. Time to show this puppy what's going on here. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, it's probably flat. No, it's Intimidate. So let's fire blast this thing. Let's look at this beautiful animation. <laughs> and you know, for the longest time, uh, I thought uh, Fire Blast was like a human body form on fire. But it's actually the word fire spelt out in fire in Japanese. So that's pretty cool to note. So look at that. If you ever want to know how to spell fire, that's how you do it. Yeah, level 45 Growlithe. What move was he trying to learn? Oh, this dude's like, oh, I got something for you, Charizard. Here's the Blastoise. Now here's my secret weapon. 
Zeus is enter the field. And screw it. Let's go for the thunder. 53? Holy shit. I wonder who his favorite Pokemon on his team is. Boom, but down he goes. Thunder takes it down. It's about to use Execute. That's cute. Let's go ahead and go to... Not to. I was going to go take videos to use Blizzard, but I don't want to get hit by a Psychic or something. Let's just go ahead and go for the flamethrower here. Oh, what was I worried about? He still hasn't evolved his Pokemon. I guess he doesn't know where to buy stones. All right, Alakazam is here. Who are we going to bring out to fight that thing? Let's go Jazz Hands, our most offensive Pokemon on the team. And let's just go ahead and go for the strength. Ooh, calm winding up. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, he's going for disable, but his attack missed. So strength is gonna come off and kill this thing, no problem. Alakazam goes down. So as you can see, we easily sweep the floor with Gary there. That loosened me up. Yeah, it fucking destroyed you. All right, here we go. Um, Will, can you check uh, what the highest level Elite Four level is? I'm sure we won't have to worry about too much. I do know uh, normally I try to get to level 55 for the Elite Four, but uh, let's see if it's actually worth trying to do that because then that'd be another grind session. All right, we got a Fero. Man, these Feroes don't die. They built different. Yes, I got the Earth Badge. Want me to earthquake the whole world just to show you? Ooh, Citrus Berry. Victory Road time. Let's go ahead and get Mary Jane up front. And let's see what Pokemon we catch first. All right, it's a Jill, dude. I'm not gonna catch it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put up uh, super repels or max repel for now, because it's right there. All right, so the highest level is Dragonite. All right, cool. I'm not too worried about over leveling the Pokemon then. Uh, what's uh, what's Gary's team? I think it's like 62, right? All right, so you need to do that first to unlock the gate here. Oh. All right, so it looks like we got a battle going on. We got Persian to deal with, so let's go ahead and go for the pedal dance. Okay, level 63. Okay, I'm not going to try to get too high a level. Um, I think 55... I normally get to 55, and that's fine, so let's just go ahead and stick with that. Ooh, critical hit on the Ponyta. And to say, just stay in and go for a takedown. Should have went for the fire move. And Ponyta goes down. Rapidash comes in. And we're going to send out Tig Bitties. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're definitely going to try to get our team to at least level 55. Well, at most 55. I don't want to be too overleveled either. And a few levels ain't going to hurt us. We do got a powerful team. All right. Rapidash goes down. No problem. Thanks to the earthquake. Volpix coming in. We're going to go ahead and stay in and earthquake that too. Okay, and lastly, uh, two more Pokemon, right? 
It's weird she has all these fire types and then a Persian. But as you can see, Earthquake is doing the dang thing and knocking all these people out. So that's wonderful. And now we got to deal with this Persian real quick. It's already near death. Let's go ahead and put it out of his misery. Alright, so we're going to come back here twice because I want both items. But we got Dragon Claw, which is wonderful. It's also special. Okay, we take care of that. We're going to switch out for the Charmeleon. Earthquake there. War Turtle comes in. Zeus. Uh, thunder. Uh, thunder. Uh, thunder. Come on, stop missing. Thank you. Ivysaur goes down. Charizard comes in. Let's go ahead and go to Nemo. And I am going to speed through these battles because I really want to get to the Elite Four in time. Because these battles ain't that important. It's just Victory Road. Yeah, the classic purple war turtle. It looks purple. I don't, I don't know. It, it definitely does look purple, though. It's certainly not shiny, though, because the shell is, uh, the shell is brown. Imagine the only shiny you run into is on an uh, enemy's team. That's like, uh, watching, uh, what is it, Wally in third gen catching a shiny right in front of your face. Like, what the heck? All right. You got to do all that stuff to get through here. Why did I not heal up? Super potion. Super potion. All the way up. There we go. Now we can pedal dance our hearts away. Ah, oh, shit. I should have switched. All right. Tig bitties. Earthquake takes that out, no problem. Beautiful. I'm loving this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right, and this is Sandstorm, just in case you were wondering. And he's a Psychic or Bird type trainer. Jesus. Here we go. So let's go ahead and get uh, Natsu up here. All right, so Psychic. Flamethrower takes that out. Oh, Flamethrower doesn't take that out. And Psychic does a good amount of damage to us. But Kadabras are easy pickings. Let's go ahead and come around this way. Get this item here. And fight this dude who I know has a Persian. And then a Golduck. So Mary Jane, all you. Wow, you thought one Petal Blizzard would be enough, but I guess not. So Mary Jane, ugh, Mary Jane finally gets to level 49. Here's another psychic type trainer. Ooh, Mr. Mime. You don't see many of those. Alright, flamethrower, and we do gotta heal. At least we're making use of those super potions still. And I think that's focus something, so TM07. Um, let's see here. That was... That was hell. So you get the last two uh, weather weather moves here. Dragon Claw is so good for Natsu. Because it's special. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of Slash. It's more powerful. We don't have the crit chance, but it's better for us since it's special. And we have a move for a Dragonite as well. Executor goes down. Electrode, not so much. Let's go ahead and go to pick, take Biddies. Earthquake. Down it goes. 
Cloyster comes in. Let's go ahead and go to Mary Jane. Probably shouldn't have done that. Let's go to Zeus. And Thunderbolt. I only say that because it could have... It could have... Uh, that ice move. What is it called? Icicle Spiritus. There you go. Uh, my brain's back. All right, Will. I'll see you in a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and go for the surf. Well, I thought that'd be enough to kill, but I guess not. And let's go ahead and get our max potion. All right. Move the boulder. All the way across. See, Dragon Claw used to be over here, but I guess they moved it over there. And now we have... Oh, I thought it was a shiny for a second. Now we have Overheat here. And we need another repel. Another repel. Um, let's go ahead and go down here. Uh, probably shouldn't have wasted our time for a guard spec, but we did. Um, Charmeleon, let's go ahead and show off this beautiful animation for Dragon Claw. It looks like a fire move, but it, clearly it's not, but still. Alright, Lapras is coming in, which is wonderful for him, I guess. Let's go ahead and go to Z Zeus. A little, uh, Lorelei preview. And Thunderbolt does just enough, thanks to the legendariness and beam. <laughs> ten, ten levels above. All right, Lick of Tongue's coming in. Let's go ahead and go to Tigbitties. And I do know Superpower is going to be just enough to take this thing out here. Hopefully. Should be. Super effective. And it's Superpower. Look at this. Boom! Yeah, I ain't living. I thought it was for a second. But no, that ain't living. Cool thing is our Pokemon are almost level 50. That grinding session definitely helped. But because I said we wasted our time is because of this. Now you got we got to go back around. Go back all the way. Excuse me. And boom. Now we can actually go up the stairs here. Oh, did the thing go away? Oh, okay. That's weird. The boulder re reappeared. Well, let's go ahead and kill this Clefairy. Clefairy. Now let's go ahead and go to Nemo. Get a kill there. Get our... Uh, Get our EXP up a little bit. Ooh, Dragon Dance. That is wonderful. But what do we sacrifice for that? Ah, oh, that sucks. I mean, the only thing it can boost up is uh, Hydro Pump. Let me double check what Ice Beam is. Okay, so ice is special. That sucks. <coughs> so the only physical typings are bug, fighting, flying, ghost, ground, normal, poison, rock, steel. Okay. Okay, so I guess we don't need dragon dance. Oh man, it would have been so great. So yeah, stop learning dragon dance. Uh, Dugon's coming in. Let's go ahead and go to Zeus. Because it is part ice type. Let's go Thunderbolt. Wonderful. Chansey's coming in. So Tigbitty's uh, superpower that thing. No problem at all. But as you can see, as the Pokemon are coming, becoming uh, fully evolved, they're becoming a bigger handful. But I do know we have a full grass team over here. 
and a full water team. I believe he's the grass Pokemon trainer. Well, I guess I don't need to use Charizard for that, huh? Get our level 50 there. Let's go ahead and put Jazz Hands for the grass type trainer. Oh, no. Wrong side. Let's go get Mary Jane. Giga Dream. Woo. Holly Whirl. Let's go ahead and pedal dance. Oh, no. We wake up and we dance. Let's go to Jazz Hands for this one, though. Psychic should be enough. Oh, the barrier helped him. But it's not there no more. Let's go pedal dance again. And Blastoise should go down to this, no problem. Oh, man. All right. Let's go for the pedal dance. Hurt itself in confusion. That's not good. No, oh, that super repels, dummy. Where is the super potions when you need them? Do we have any left? Okay. All right, we snapped out of it and finally get the kill there. So last Pokemon. To get to 50, he's the first Pokemon to get to 48. That's funny. Alright, Psychic there. And with all these Pokemon, it should be enough to get there. Oh, no. Blizzard! Oh, that was a beautiful sight. Look at this. Oh, I missed. Dude, stop missing. Oh, beautiful screen. And does just enough damage to take that thing out. Uh, and let's go ahead and get a full heal. <coughs> okay. Let's start coming this way. Oh, wrong way. No, uh, you have a better battle in store for you. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. I actually had to get that uh, boulder down there. Stupid me. All right, here we go. You know what? Get out of my face. Jesus Christ. Uh, super repel. Nothing much, Chicken Wheel. We just uh, got a few new moves. We went ahead and taught Charizard Dragon Claw. Um, we had to give up on Dragon Dance on Gyarados because he only has one physical move. So wouldn't have helped much. And I didn't want to get rid of Hydro Pump or Ice Beam. But other than that, we're pretty much at level 50 with everyone except for Clefable. So we are on the right track to beat the Elite Four, that's for sure. And I'm sure we'll beat it by 9 o'clock. That's the goal anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and strength this thing all the way over here. Awesome possum, you damn right. We already fought that dude. Let's go ahead and fight this double battle. And look at that monster on the other side. Okay, we're gonna go again. We're gonna go ahead and psychic. I mean, they could both double kick. Um, I don't know. Needle King just looks scarier. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Nemo. Is that a good idea? Yeah, I'm gonna switch out to Nemo for the intimidate drop. Ooh, Needle King doesn't go down. Body Slam goes off. And Mega Horn goes off. Woo. Needle King ain't playing no games. So I'm going to Psychic the Needle Queen. And since I'm faster, I'm going to Surf. Because it hits both. And at least Needle King goes down. <coughs> Let's see if Jazz Hands could outspeed the Needle Queen. Nope. And he goes for the body slam on Nemo and gets another para. That is bullshit. 
but at least that psychic was enough to go down and that should be the last battle we have to deal with in this cave so luckily and unluckily for us there's no way we can rebattle those trainers what is that over there oh never mind my eyes fooled me because I can see the game twice and I thought I saw something special <laughs> but um let's go ahead and go here heal up our Pokemon we're not gonna challenge the Elite Four just yet like I said we got to grind up a little bit let's go ahead and get some full restores let's get about oh shoot all right let's sell some stuff real quick so what do we need we need those we don't need that we need that we don't need those because after this it's done it's over with um, pa escape ropes XP don't need them black glasses maybe we can make use out of those uh, no super repels needed um, yes elixirs no awakening no cleanse tag no nugget no accuracy no revives it's over no X special hey Christian welcome to the stream here for the best part we're gonna grind up a little bit and then take on the elite four uh let's see no more super potion well let's keep those super potions might as well we're at the bottom and we're gonna go grind a little bit so we can make use of those um pearl uh we don't need the thunderstone we can use the quick claw we need the exp share we don't need the guard spec we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need any of these. We already used all the ones we could. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna keep return to see which one's stronger. Uh, I'm gonna keep overheat just in case. Don't need those. We're done catching Pokemon. Don't need that. So, how many four stories can we buy now? Twenty six. Let's go ahead and buy 20. And let's go ahead and buy more full heals. So we are fucking ready. Item wise, we're ready. Let's go ahead and take our Pokemon over to where they need to go. Over here. And let's start our grind here, guys. Sorry, I wasn't saying anything in the stream, but I wasn't saying nothing because I was watching that. Hey, that's cool, man. At least you're showing the support of having me in the background while you watch anime. So that's amazing for me. I appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Four battles. Five levels each. Let's let's go. Well, that was a that was a nice little run there. At least this guy wants to battle. He has the best Pokemon with the most EXP to battle. And we almost got one level of that already. All right, who wants to battle? Ah, oh, damn it! Almost everybody got the strength there. Psychic. Strength. Save the psychics for the big guys. Oh man, I thought you you wanted to battle. Strength, strength. We're good to go there. Well, if anyone wants to ask any questions now, go for it, guys, because we got a little bit more time to to go with this. And Clefable is holding her own. Jazz Hands is ready to destroy things. Two levels already. Beautiful. That's exactly what we need. Okay. Almost everyone again. Getting there. Psychic. Liz uh, strength. Psychic. I'm trying to get to level 55. The max level out of the Elite Four and Champion. Is level 63 thanks to chicken wolf for checking that out and uh, I really want to be 
at a decent level. I don't want to be over leveled or under leveled. So I feel under eight levels as we go through is plenty. That's what I normally go through as. So we should be fine with it. Well, luckily we're able to get three levels out of that. Let's go ahead and put someone up front real quick. For this last battle, we'll go heal up uh, Clefairy, I mean Clefable. And then we'll come back and get that last level. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, guys, uh, also a quick reminder, as I was saying earlier, um, all my streams will be Tuesday through Saturday from now on, weekly, 7 to seven to 10, or normally 7 to 10, but it'll be 7 to 10, and then, like today, I have to get something done later, so that's why I'm doing it a little bit earlier, but still streaming for three hours. So no matter what, I'll be streaming for three hours every time I stream. Saturday is more of a day stream, so during the day, uh, like, uh, I'm going to put the EXP share on Mary Jane because she doesn't have the best moves to fight these poison types. But, um, yeah, that's the goal. Stream Tuesday through Saturday and always have a three-hour stream. And then uh, Fridays, I believe streams might go a little bit longer because those are the days me and David do our other stream, the Soul Link. So there's the excitement there. And also, guys, uh, whenever I start, at whenever I finish this, for the rest of the week, I'll be streaming some Pokemon Conquest because I want to get my layout for Emerald to be really good. Should have psychic there. I want my layout to be top tier for my streams so uh that's why it's going to take about a week for me to do i want to put as much time into it as possible and then uh it, sh it should we should finish emerald within next week so i'll be doing uh emerald streams all week except for friday of course because that's the only day i don't and that's going to be the plan until we finish these games uh later games might take more than a week because they're a little bit slower pace you can't really use speed up and stuff so those might take two weeks but you know it's all about the journey we'll get to the destination eventually all right everyone wants to battle which is amazing psychic strength psychic uh, battle you because you have the other wheezing because they give out the most exp and we ain't gaining as much exp as fast as because uh we have the exp share on the other other pokemon but we're still doing good making good time we're already at four levels no i shouldn't have went inside Every set. Okay, here we go. Alright, we'll battle you. You're the one with the wheezing. The other guy with the wheezing doesn't want to fight. He's, he's a wuss. And we're running out of moves. Alright, we can take on two more Pokemon. Then we'll heal one more time with Clefairy. And it should be level 45 if that Weezing guy wants to battle. Yeah. Alright, who wants to battle? Beautiful. Both the Weezing people want to battle. You want some? Come get some. Strength. Strength. 
Strengtheth. Almost there, guys. On the first Pokemon, but we're still almost there. Like I said, if we would have trained Mary Jane by herself, though, it would have taken a lot longer. I feel. Alright. Heal time. Let's go. Who wants some? Uh... Alright. I just need to do one one quick battle. So I'm not going to take on a Weezing and take that EXP away from anybody else. Let's go ahead and let Mary Jane finish this one. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Jazz Hands is up. Let's go ahead and go not to here. Flamethrower, 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 everything. And I know it might be faster to fly to the Pokemon Center, but uh, at least uh, when we go and come back, the steps are done. So, that's another reason I'm doing that. Oh, you're on your fifth gym? Congratulations. How you doing there? Hopefully you haven't lost any Pokemon. And that's it there. Oh, just enough steps. Oh, uh, and only three won a battle. That sucks. But slowly but surely we'll get there. As I keep saying that. <laughs> Sorry for repeating myself. Oh, you're not doing Lux Lock? Oh, well, you know, casual playthroughs are always fine too. I like to do casual playthroughs with Pokemon I never really use. Like, uh, my first time playing through the new Sun and Moon, I used a Low Punny and Grimer, because I never really used a Grimer before then, and I fell in love with Grimer. One of my favorite Pokemon now, with well, the Alolan version anyway. And, yeah, you just, uh, you get connected with so many different Mons that way. I'm laughing at you, not with you. Man, almost no EXP for those battles. Woohoo! Level 51. One down, four to go for Charizard. Alright, Chicken Will, see you in a little bit. Again, sorry for the tedious grinding, but it must be done. We want to win this, uh... We want to win this challenge run. It's one of the it's the first one on Twitch, so let's go ahead and do it. <coughs> We're gonna do it right. Dang it! That one wheezing guy doesn't want to battle ever. All right, Mary Jane's a little 53, so after we're done with that one, I don't think we need to exp anyone else. Exp share anyway, and then uh. It'll feel like it's going faster. <coughs> oh, fell through. Ah, we switched the route, so. Alright. Finally. The dude with two Weezings wants to battle, but the one with one Weezing doesn't. So that sucks, but, you know. It is what it is. Charizard's gonna tear through their team. Alright guys, who is your favorite gym leader from Gen 1? I'd like to know that. I It's hard for me to pick one for myself though. I've played through it so many times. Um, it's not really one... I. It's not like there's not one where it's a super challenging battle either. Because, I mean, they're all pretty easy. If you ha I mean, you have the right Pokemon to take them on, you're good. I guess just aesthetically growing up, I think uh, Lieutenant Surge was probably my favorite. He was a big ass cool dude and he destroyed people. Even made Ash think about retiring, so I mean, you gotta be a pretty badass gym leader to do that. No other gym leader did that either. Broke his spirit. So it's just like, that's a powerful gym leader. And if he actually trained his Raichu right, he would have been undefeatable pretty much. So it's just like, yeah, he only needed one Pokemon and he'd 
he made Ash pay the price. So if I, I guess I, I guess uh, Lieutenant Surge would probably be my favorite. All right, after this battle, let's go ahead and heal up again, and then we'll be right back. Thank you. Come again. Oh, all right, here we are, back. Fantastic! Both the Weezing guys want a battle. Alright. Down it goes, down it goes. Oh, level 54. Woohoo! Almost there. Almost there with the person who hasn't even touched the field. It's like Jimmy Garoppolo winning rings with Brady. Just sitting on the bench, getting all the glory, but doing none of the work. All right. Oh, per perfect. Even better. Working on it. Oh, ran out of flamethrowers. Almost everybody. I feel sorry for their Pokemon. We just keep destroying them. It's Pokemon abuse. Oh, level 53. We're so close. Two more levels. Good thing is I think we have two more rare candies too. So whatever last Pokemon we need to get there, we'll get there quicker. Battle you first. I know I'm low on Dragon Claws. There we go. Alright, Mary Jane's level 55, so we can go ahead and move that to someone else. Um, let's give it to... Yeah, you know what? They can handle it themselves. Shit, might as well go heal. We're almost there with Charizard as well. Two more levels. At least this way it'll feel quicker. Ooh, only two? That's gross. It's the least amount we've ever gotten. Damn it. I just want the wheezing guy. At least. Yeah, I'm not going to learn Dragon Rage at 54. Give it to me at like 15 in the new games and maybe we'll talk. Okay, let's keep it up. We're almost there. Almost there, guys. What's y'all's favorite grind spot? Y'all clearly see mine. It works, too. Shit, I ruined it. Fuck. <sighs> Waste. Waste of trainers.
Grinding is my least favorite part of Pokemon, but again, it must be done. It's not like you can just pay people to do it for you. Oh, wait, you can. It's called the daycare. But then again, is it they can fuck up your movesets and it's not good. Oh, did you beat the fifth gym? Sweet. GG Armani. Gold star for getting your fifth gym badge. It just gets easier from there. Almost screwed up again. Oh, well, not much because we. What are you grinding for now? Oh, finally, all six won a battle. Beautiful. That was and lived it. 51 though. See, they're in Sludge Bomb. Why can't Mary Jane learn it? Using my special moves on these weaker Pokemon. Welcome to the chat. How y'all doing? Hopefully y'all having a great Tuesday. It's almost Wednesday. Almost hump day. Oh, look. My OBS seems to be on the fritz again. So I'm going to just keep grinding though. Should reconnect no problem. Sorry about that, Twitch. Um, I don't know what seems to be the problem. It keeps dropping rates for some reason. But it seems like everything's back and connected, so thank goodness for that. Uh, Y'all didn't miss much. I was just uh, continuing the grind. That's weird. Um, all the times I've streamed, it hasn't been doing that that much. But, you know, it happens sometimes, I guess. Trying to use these special moves on the weaker Pokemon so I can fill these coppings, no problem. Can you just... There you go. Ah, I guess I could just use the special move anyway. Just secret power everything else. Guess it doesn't really matter, huh? I'm already like 30 levels above. But this is the only group where you can battle the most Pokemon at a really high level. Or at a higher level. Of course. Minimize. What 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 bowl? What BS? Oh man, don't worry. In about, I'd say 10 more minutes, we should be done grinding. Battles are going pretty quick. And so for three. Two more levels with uh, Nemo here. And we gotta use the full heal. Shit. Wasn't trying to do that. But it's okay. Oh, 
Oh, only two? Come on, man. You gotta do me one better than that. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that little glitch again. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Twitch today, but maybe too many people streaming at once. I don't know. But finally, we get all six again. Let's go ahead and do this tear. Especially this guy. You just need to always be ready to fight. Boom, because if really if you battle everyone every time, you, you could have I could have been level fifty five with everyone by now. All right, everybody again. Yes, it ain't RNG if you call it. All right, save the surfs for the big weezings. Oh, wasted one there. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Ice Beam did not take that thing down. Go ahead and leave any questions or anything y'all want answered. Quick Q&A little session as we continue grinding here. Major grind, major grind for me as well. But the good thing is, uh, oh shit, I keep running into the goddamn door. Open the goddamn door now. Chicka chicka king cookie. Yes, finally. Hyper beam, no. As much as I would like it, no. All right, Zeus, your turn. Oh, shit. That's the last move we wanted to use with you. There we go. All right. Come on, guys. I need y'all up and ready to battle. I know y'all are getting destroyed here. <laughs> Probably running out of money. But that's not my problem. No. Could at least let me battle the other guy. Oh, there we go. It's a plus at least. Looks like we're going to run through our full heals, though. It's okay. We're getting money. Grind to grind to get the levels that we need, yeah. Grind and grind and grind and grind and yeah. All right, that's another Pokemon down. About three more levels to go on Zeus, son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. All right, finally. Who wants a battle? You want a battle? You want to battle me? You want a battle? Oh, shit. I thought that was Thunderbolt. Poopsies. I made a poopsies. Ooh, that sounds like good music right there. Not my singing in the background. All right, thunder is off. Ooh, three thunders in a row. Let's keep it up. All right, 
right, that should be good. Looks like everyone's willing and ready to battle. All right, all we got is Thunderbolts now. Please be enough. Ooh, like it a lot. I like it, I like it a lot. Down it goes. One more six person battle and I think we'll be there. All right, how many Pokemon you got? You got three. So Tig Biddies, come on in and finish this one off. Let's go heal. And we're almost done with Zapdos. All we got to do is get three levels with Tiggo Biddies, and then we'll be able to attack the Elite Four. Oh, yes. Beautiful. At least we got these. Hmm. This part is taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. But hey, thank you for anyone who's sticking this out with me. I know it's not easy. But all the reaps of the reward because you'll get to see me take on the Elite Four. Or y'all are going to go watch this on YouTube and fast forward to the Elite Four part. <laughs> Either one. Either way, it helps me out. One step closer to you. Definitely one more wheezing fight, and I'll be in. I'll be in! Oh, of course, neither of them want to battle, douchebags. But, I guess I don't need them. Down goes the manky. Now, let's go ahead and get Tiggo Beaties in here. We're almost there. I know I've been saying that, but we're for sure almost there now. Last Pokemon to have to level up. Got two rare candies. It's better to use them when they're it's the higher levels because that's when you need more XP to level up. All right, what do you got? Two bites. Heck yeah. Fifty-one, four more. Well, two more, because I'm just gonna level it up with the rare candies at fifty-three. All right, <laughs> we almost there. We almost there. I'm getting excited. After a long time of being quiet, I'm getting excited. I did need a quick break from talking though, because my throat was dry. But wheezing is going down, which is beautiful. Thank you for the wheezing fights. Appreciate all of them. 52. One more level. One more level, and we're there. One more level, and we're there. Enjoy the singing, because it's going to happen all the time. All right. Last time, baby. Last time. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Don't push the maybe, baby. Oh, man. 
All right. Let's go with the who wants to battle. Yes, you. Thank God you. Heck yeah, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Oh yeah, we there. 55. 55 thanks to the rare candies. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Perfect timing too because uh we just hit 55 on all of our Pokémon. So we are doing the main event starting now. We're going to go ahead and fly over to the Indigo Plateau. And before we even take it on, I'd like to thank everybody who stuck around through all the grinding session and who came back and all that stuff. Thank you for all the support. And let's see if it's paid off. It is time to get hype in the chat for the Elite Four. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's go ahead and look over our team real quick. We got Tig Bitties. We got Mary Jane. We got Zeus. We got Nemo. We got Natsu. And we got Jazz Hands. We are all ready to take on this Elite Four. So let's go ahead and lead with the beautiful, majestic, legendary Pokemon, which we call Zeus, to battle Lorelei first. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha. Are you ready? Sure, lady. Why not? Elite Four Lorelei would like to battle. You know what? Let's get some more hype music going, actually. Uh, let's see where let's go there we go dugong versus Zeus let's go ahead it <coughs> sorry Let's go ahead and hit this with a Thunderbolt. Don't worry, it gets better. All right, Slowbro's coming in. Let's go ahead and whip that thing with the Thunderbolt as well. Slowbro goes down to the legendary Zeus. All right, Lapras is coming in. We're going to stay in here. Her strongest Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go for the Thunder. And it hits. Beautiful. Lapras goes down without a problem. All right, Jinx is coming in. Time for Natsu to get a fire in his belly. Let's go. <coughs> Flame thrower time. Get out of my face, Jinx. You Nicki Minaj wannabe. Oh, it lives on one. Are you kidding me? Well, now we're asleep. Natsu, you need to wake up. Oh, goes for the full restore. Was that a gutsy move here? Wake up. Wake up. Oh, it's asleep. Oh, we're still fast asleep and ice punch comes off. Come on, Natsu, wake up. That is freaking annoying. Um, who can take an ice punch? Jazz hands? 
Oh, and we're frozen. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, boy. This is not good. Uh, not too. Come on. Let's go. Frozen here. This is not good for anybody. Let's go ahead and go to Nemo. All right. Take this thing out, please. Secret power. Oh, cool. Jinx is paralyzed, but we are attracted. Uh, don't be in love with that ugly thing. Of course you are. All right. Max potion. Here we go. Come on, Nemo. It's just a Pokemon. It's not even in your same egg group. There we go. That's coming to your senses. Use your brain, not your whisker. All right, Cloyster's coming in. And Zeus is going to finish this thing off. We're in the Elite Four, and we already had some issues right there, which is annoying. Our powerful team, and we couldn't take out a Jinx with no problem? Come on, man. But it is what it is. Welcome back, everybody. I know the grinding was horrible to watch. But we are back for the Elite Four. We just defeated Elite Four Lorelei. <laughs> Things shouldn't be this way. Well, too bad they are. <laughs> We're in the Elite six, 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 six. Maybe. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Yeah, I don't. It tasted nasty, by the way. Go take a shower. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and give the quick claw to Tig Bitties. Um, you know what? Let's give the black glasses to Tig Bitty because she has bite. Right? She has bite? Yeah, she does. So let's go ahead and give quick claw to Jazz Hands. Uh, this full heal as well because Jesus. Um, hyper Potion time. Uh, let's go ahead and give a Lumberry to Mary Jane. Let's give a Citrus Berry to Nemo. <coughs> and I think we'll be good there. We don't really have held items like that in this game. Well, let's go ahead and put Nemo up front. Because next up, we have Bruno. Elite Four Bruno would like to battle. Elite Four Bruno sent out Onyx. Who are we sending out? Nemo, because we found him. And we get the Intimidate drop on it as well. So let's go ahead and go for Surf. Easy choice. Nothing doing there. Oh, nice. Two of your favorite Pokemon. That's awesome. <coughs> All right. Hitmochan's coming in. Let's go ahead and go to... Not to here. And we are going to fly. Ooh, hit my chain, use Rock Tomb. Hopefully, he doesn't use that again. Hopefully, we can take it out. Oh, we don't take it out. Counter. Oh, no. That's going to do. Oh, no. That does double the damage we dealt. We lost Natsu for the challenge. Oh, that bites. All right. Well, Zeus is going to have to pick up that slack. So he goes ahead and pulls his stores in our face. But Himonchan almost goes down there. 
But we're going to go ahead and finish it off with the drill pick. Sadly, our our starter is not going to make it. F in the chat for that. Um, Machamp is coming in. Let's go ahead and go to Nemo real quick. So we can get the Intimidate drop. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to Mary Jane here. Ooh, goes for the bulk up. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not, not good at all. Let's go ahead and go for the Toxic. We're faster, so that's one good sign. Alright, so Scary Face is going to make us slower, but that's better than him going for an attacking move there. And I pray that he does not have Ice Punch. So he has Bulk Up, Scary Face. I know he has Rock Slide. He's going for the Bulk Up again. This could get scary. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Giga Drain. That's special attacking. So hopefully we can get a good amount of damage off on it. And it does not. But it is poisoned. So the, ba the damage will be building up. Oh, Cross Chop. We resist. But it is plus two. Oof. Okay. So we're going to go for the Giga Drain here. And then heal up. And hopefully Toxic can take it out in the next two turns. Oh, the, the Citrus Berry. It's going to gain 30 health back. So we're just going to heal. Not trying to lose a second member. <coughs> Cross shot missed. That is big. So let's go ahead and get the Giga Drain off. So this cross chop hits, but, you know, we can take it. No problem. And Machamp finally goes down. Uh, Mary Jane has a Lumberry, so it can't get confused by its own pedal dance. <clears throat> Alright, Hitmonlee's coming in. We're going to go back to Zeus. All right, don't have counter, please. You know what? I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt. Okay, it took that pretty well. Goes for Mega Kick. We should take that no problem. Oh, Jesus, problem. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt again. So luckily, we make it out of that battle alive. Uh, Vile Plume was able to dish take whatever that Machop could dish out, and the Toxic was beautiful. Um, Onyx is coming in. Let's go ahead and go to Mary Jane so we can get the Giga Drain off so we don't have to use another potion. We have Ethers, so... I mean, either way, let's just go ahead and get this Giga Drain. Oh my gosh. It's faster. Woohoo! Good thing it does not do super effective damage. But we do. Down goes Onyx. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to use Heart Potion anyway. <sighs> Ooh, well, we made it past the second Elite Four member. This is proven to be tougher than I thought it was going to be. That's for damn sure. Why did Hitmonchan have to use Counter of all moves? Oh well. This one hopefully is easier. We got Agatha of the Elite Four. I'm Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now, he just wants to fiddle with this Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are her battling. Joe, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Alright, lady. We'll see. 
we shall see. She sent out to Gengar. Gengar. And it's obviously going to try to put me to sleep. But we're going to go for the psychic here. Ooh, double team. Interesting. I've never seen her Gengar go for a double team. Yeah, she's basically an imposter oak. Most people make the joke. Um, Psychic did not take it out. Wow. Let's go ahead and go for it again. Oh, Confused Ray. Come on, Clefable. You're stronger. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Show him who's boss. Yes! Broke through the confusion and got the attack off. Gengar is down. All right, we got a gold bat. And since we're confused, I am going to switch out to Zeus. Because Zeus can handle that no problem with the Thunderbolt. And we are in the end game here, guys. Three more battles. Two more battles after this one. So gold bat goes down, no problem. Thank goodness. Um, let's go ahead and go to Tig Biddies for this one, because I don't think Clefable is going to be able to take out Arbok with the with the Psychic. It wasn't able to take out a Gengar. I mean, I get Gengar special defense is better, but even then. All right, Earthquake. Tig Biddies bringing all the boys to the yard with the Earthquake. Oh yeah, it's y'all. Oh, Iron Tail. So we should be able to take it out with this earthquake here. <coughs> so Tig Biddies takes down the Arbok, even with the negative one attack. So Hunter's coming back in. We're going to go back to Jazz Hands because she can't really do nothing damaging to us, only passively. We do have the Quick Claw, so hopefully we get faster. Let's go ahead and go for the Psychic. Really wish I could have found those leftovers. And it lives on one. What the fuck? Okay. Well, she's clearly going to heal here. So we're going to go ahead and heal ourselves. And if she doesn't heal, that's her problem. But hopefully he doesn't go for Hypnosis again. Yeah, full restore. All right, Psychic, do your job. Oh, great. She's going for Curse. Hey, Chris, welcome back. Well, at least I know Psychic will take this thing down. <coughs> All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to switch out here. We're going to go to uh, Gyarados because Ghost-type moves are physical. So we're going to drop her attack stat down. Ooh, level 58. Scary time. Now we're going to go into Clefable. Hopefully it goes for a Shadow Ball or something. Oh, Sludge Bomb. Well, that does little to nothing, but we are poisoned. On the bright side, it can't put us to sleep. And we could take another one of those, no problem. So let's just go ahead and go for the psychic here. Oh, not enough. Not enough damage. And it has a citrus berry, of course. I'm going to go for a full heal here. Oh, uh, full restore. I don't want a crit to be the end of me. Again with the poison? Fuck off. Uh, at least it's in range for psychic this time. So down goes Gengar. And we officially beat Agatha now. Thank goodness. 
and we are starting to be very under leveled for this. <laughs> I don't know if 55 was enough, guys. Oh man, we'll see. It's all on the line now. We're in. We're in here. Super potions. Get those out of the way. All right. Everyone's full health. No, Tig Biddies isn't. Go ahead and get that super potion. All right, there you go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Time for the Elite Four Dragon Trainer, Lance. We're here, guys. Let's get this done. Ah, Joe. I've heard of you about you, Joe. I led the Elite Four. You can tell. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their power is superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Joe. I certainly hope not. No, I already used them to get a uh, Needle Queen to 55. All right, Gyarados is here. I should have led Zapdos. What was I thinking? I totally forgot to switch it. It's okay. Um, let's go ahead and go Psychic. It goes Bite. Oh, it's infatuated now. Joke's on you. Jazz hands flinch though. Come on, man. Or come on, girl. And it breaks through the love. But our psychic at least goes off this time. Does nothing. Alright, let's go ahead and go for strength. Get me a water. Oh, uh, strength does about the same. This battle is intense. Come on, strength. At least we got lucky there. It's immobilized by love. Oh, of course, full restore. Come on, man. We ain't ready for that. I wonder if it's still in love. Okay, so it is. So that's a good thing. I guess love can't be cured. Oh, Dragon Rage, though. Alright. <coughs> we can live two more of those. Alright. Stay in love with me. All right, so here I'm going to start Cosmic Powering. I think I'm just going to stay in with Clefable the whole battle and try to sweep him. So I'm going to get my defenses up as high as possible so we can live every hit. This is a little stally, so I'm going to speed up here. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's all of them. We're going to heal up here. I'll do one more just in case. Okay. So that's not possible. Let's go ahead and destroy this Gyarados now. The reason I did that is because we do have Blizzard. So we do have things to hit the other Pokemon with. And Aerodactyl, I feel we're, we're going to be able to take out with a few Psychics. Hopefully. So we'll see how that goes. See that? Hyper Beam did nothing. Gyarados goes down swinging, but it goes down. So Jazz Hands grows level 56. Aerodactyl comes in. We are confident. Let's go ahead and get a Psychic. Oh, yes. Critical hit in our favor. We take those. Somehow we're faster than Aerodactyl, and we almost take it out. 
Okay, so barring any crits, we're we're good here. So let's go ahead. He goes for ancient power, which is physical. Does nothing. Is infatuated with us, and now it's gonna go down to a psychic. So so far so good, guys. Our our bulky Clefable is coming in clutch. Let's go ahead and see how good these uh these blizzards go off. Four hit KO. I mean, one hit KO. It's four times effective. Come on. And you miss. Okay. Outrage comes off. Does nothing. Miss again? Come on, Jazz Hands. It's clutch time, baby. Let's get it. All right. That's good for us. It's infatuated. Clutch time. Come on. Get this off. It almost one hit KOs. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, let's go for the psychic here. Be in love with me. Don't touch me. There you go. Just die. Psychic, do your thing. Come on. Be enough. Oh, it's not enough. He's going to heal. I'm going to heal. That is trash. Oh, he's in love still. He didn't heal. Oh, he went hyper beam. Oh, that did nothing. All right. Let's go ahead and finish it off with the strength. You must recharge. So we get a free hit. Whew. Lucky us. Clefable is pulling out all the stops here. All right, so Dragonair is coming in. And I'm not worried about wasting all our blizzards because we do have ethers. All right, so Dragon Rage is going to do 40 damage no matter what. Come on, Jazz Hands. What did I tell you about clutch time? Blizzard comes off. And no matter what, we got an ether up here. Down goes the Dragonair. That's what I want to see. Jazz Hands just grew two levels in this one battle. Beautiful. Oh, it's a Dragonair. I thought it was another Dragonite. We might not need to use uh, Blizzard. Let's go ahead and go Psychic here. Let's see how much it does. Well, I guess either way we're going to have to uh, Ether up because we only have one Psychic left. And, of course, we get full parried. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and go full restore. And then we're going to ether. Oh, I'll psychic. I meant to do uh Oh, well. I meant to do blizzard because I know for sure that one hit KOs it. But, oh, well. It hurt itself in confusion after the outrages, which is beautiful. And Psychic is going to do enough in a little bit here, so I'm not going to worry about souping up my blizzards. It hurt itself again. Thank you, Luck, for falling in my way this time. All them missed blizzards, and we still managed to beat the Master of Dragons, Lance. Fuck yeah, boys. Let's get hype. We're about to fight the champion. We're about to fight the champion. No hold bars. Kick his ass, champion. Yeah, I get it. My champ, my, uh, my champion. My rival is behind you. Let's go ahead and heal up everything. Elixirs. Uh, I know you need elixirs. Why not? Max Ether to Earthquake. Max Ether to... I guess not. Yes, my rival. This is going to be intense. But I am ready for it. Berry Pouch for... I mean... There ain't no berries really useful here. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and do what I need to do. Lead Zeus. And start the show. Hey, Joe. I was looking forward to seeing you, Joe. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I am the Pokemon League Champion. Joe, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. For now. For two seconds. Because I didn't come all the way to the championship to lose. Alright, Pidgeot, go down to Thunder. Oh, we miss. Come on, Zeus. Now we are accuracy fall. Thunder. And when we make it that time, that's ridiculous. But I'll take it. Take this thing out. You got the power. Fuck yeah, Pidgeot goes down. What's next? Rhydon comes in. Let's go ahead and go to Mary Jane. Four times effective Giga Drain. <coughs> Let's take it out. I just don't think Gyarados can take it out with Surf, and I don't want to risk Hydro Pump and him have Rock Blast and take me out. And that's why I went Giga Drain. But Mary Jane did the damn thing. Alakazam's coming in. Let's go ahead and go to Jazz Hands here. You got this, Jazz Hands. Alakazam only got spoons, but you got jazzy hands. You got the jazziest of hands. Also, guys... If we win, I want some fan art of these Pokemon. All right, he got a reflect up, so our strength ain't gonna do as much. Ooh, damn. That Psychic did a big, big whop of damage right there. But Blizzard takes out the Alakazam. All right, he has a reflect up still, so we gotta be weary of that. Let's go ahead and go to Mary Jane. I don't care if we take a Psychic, but I want to get a Toxic off on it. Because Reflect is going to be a pain. Toxic? Oh, we miss. It goes for Egg Bomb. Okay, Toxic. Don't, you missed twice? And now you're asleep. Oh, Vile Plume. Come on. Oh, hold on. Uh, stream looks fine. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened there. <sighs> but we're asleep. And we took damage. Let's go ahead and go for a full restore. Luckily, he's not one psychic yet. And he goes for another sleep powder. What a douchebag. Let's go full heal. Okay, now he goes for egg bomb. Don't miss. Three missed Toxics in a row. What the fuck? And he hasn't missed one Sleep Powder. <sighs> now we got to go for another full restore. And now he goes Light Screen. That's annoying. Let's go ahead and get a Toxic. Please, thank you. About fucking time. So now Executor. Oh my goodness. Sleep Powder again. You know what? It's fine. I'm just going to sit here. Goes for Egg Bomb. I thought I had a Lumberry on this thing. What happened? I guess it used it. <coughs> Alright. We're going to leave that there. Let's go ahead and I guess we, I guess we got to stay in. I can't do much else. Let's go ahead and go acid. Super effective. Beautiful. Sleep powder again, dude. Can you do anything else, please? Just attack me. Kill me with kill me with psychic or something. Just stop. 
I'm going to heal. And I swear to God, if he goes for sleep powder again, I'm going to throw the controller. Oh, he goes full restore. What a dingleberry. Okay. Don't miss. Thank you. Sleep powder. Okay. I'm done. I'm done playing the sleep powder bullshit. Um... Let's go take bitties. He clearly doesn't have. He doesn't have a psychic type move. So I'm cool with flinching this thing out until light screen goes away. Really? One HP? And he puts me to sleep. Oh, I'm gonna throw my controller. And of course he goes down, no problem, to the poison. Now we're asleep. But good thing is we can switch out. Blastoise is coming in. Zeus, you need to take out the big ass Blastoise. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt here. It's going to go for a nice tight move. You just watch. But Thunderbolt, does it have the power? Not quite. Blastoise lives, of course. Oh, and it goes for Rain Dance. He helped me out. He helped me out. He helped me out. He helped me the fuck out. He's going to heal here, so I'm just going to go for Thunder. Oh, wait. He's not going to heal here because he's going to be out of the red. AI is not going to heal. It's okay, I'm still going to go for Thunder. I can't miss now. The rain is up. It's over for him. He didn't think it through. Guys, I think that's GG to Gary. Through all the annoying sleep hacks, through all the missed toxics, through everything, the reflex, the light screens, the intimidate drops, the sand attack at the beginning of the match, the miss first turn Thunder, I think we have done it. Oh, he goes for extreme speed. What does this do? How much does this do is real question. Not enough. So thank you everybody for watching. I think this is it. Oh, and it's parod. This is definitely it. Rain is still going. <coughs> thank you everyone for watching. I have loved the support. Um, love the follows throughout this playthrough. Again, don't worry. We're coming back first thing Tuesday with Emerald. I just want the time to actually make a great layout for everybody. This is a great day because we beat our first Nuzlocke on Twitch. Traveling the regions. That can't be. You beat me at my best. After all the work to become the league champion, my reign is already over. It's not fair. Well, too bad. Tough titties. Go fuck yourself. It's over for you. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it. The new Pokemon League champion. Although, I don't like to admit it. Joe. So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander to work on the Pokedex. Joe, you have come of age. Gary, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four. But when I got here, you had already lost. Gary, do you understand why you lost? Because you're a dumb bitch, and Joe is just a better trainer than you. Without them, you will never become a champ again. <coughs> never. You understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is what got you here. Of course it is. Has nothing to do with me being the very best like no one ever was. <clears throat> Congratulations, Joe. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Joe, you had you have worked hard to become the new Pokemon League champion. Congratulations to you and all of your Hall of Fame Pokemon. Let's get hype in the chat for that.
Oh, hell yeah, guys. We are the champions of the world. Let's see our glory unfold on the screen. Zeus. Mary Chain. Nemo. Jazz Hands. Natsu. And Tig Biddies. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Guys, this is amazing. I am so hype right now. I can't wait to start Emerald version. <coughs> but all right, guys, like I said, this is the traveling through the regions playthrough. Um, all post videos will be put on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, thank you for following. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. If you're on Twitch, follow and ring that bell so you're aware of every time I go live. Lastly, but not leastly, if y'all want to watch me, I am on Twitch, Zamora Gaming 43 That is where you can find me. Thank everyone for watching. Thank you for all the support again. I can't thank you enough for that. And share the stream. Tell your friends. Let everyone know Zamora Gaming is here traveling through the regions. I'll see you guys next time.